Hi! Good morning! Are you ready to go eat your breakfast? Oh, thank you! Good morning! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is probably the most requested video I get. I get asked to film this video all the time. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys what my one-year-old eats in a day. Riley is 13 months old for those of you guys who are new. So I'm basically gonna show you guys what she eats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then what she eats throughout the day for snacks. Like I said, I can't tell you guys how many DMs I get asking um, for these kind of videos because I guess she just dropped her book. I guess it's kind of hard to figure out what to feed a tiny human. But if you do enjoy this video, if you enjoy seeing what Riley eats in a day, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I can make more of them for you guys. Let's go ahead and feed this child because she's starting to screech and go crazy. I have to tie her hair back because normally she'll start putting her like hands in her hair. And like if I'm giving her bananas, like I'm gonna give her bananas today, she'll get banana all over her hair. So this little pony helps. All right, so there's a couple different breakfasts that I give Riley, but today I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna give her yogurt and I'm gonna give her half a banana. Let's do the bananas first because she is out of control. So this is just half a banana. She had the other half yesterday. As you guys can see, she's being very impatient, really wants her banana. I'm going, I'm cutting it up for you. All right, so these are her bananas. I literally couldn't even put a bib on her. I'm gonna put it on now, but she was screaming bloody murder because the minute she saw the banana, she started crying because she wanted it. So I just chop it up into little tiny pieces. Normally I would give her her yogurt first and then her banana, but today she was like, I guess starving. I don't know, she's just in a mood. It's gonna be one of those days. So she started screeching. So to quiet her up, I'm just gonna go ahead and give her that. I'm gonna take this away from her plate. But now she can eat her banana while I prepare her yogurt. So these bibs are the best. This one I love. I got at a little boutique. It says I am very busy, so I thought it was really cute. Um, but I think I have another one that is from Tommy Tippy maybe, but I'll link to some down below. These are great because when they start eating like solid foods like this, like if they drop it, it just like falls in this little compartment here and then very often she'll just go and like pick them up from in there. Like whenever she drops them, she has like a little snack for later. Yum. But yeah, baby girl loves banana. Like that's probably one of her favorite things. Um, another thing that I really like to make her are like banana pancakes. So maybe in one of these other videos, I'll show you guys how I make those. They're super easy. The only thing I have to do is like I have to really watch her because she will shove like 14,000 pieces of food in her mouth at once. And I never did baby led weaning with her because I was always like terrified that she was going to choke. So we're working slowly on getting her to eat these like solid pieces. Um, she does really well with bananas, with strawberries, with like pieces of fruit. It's more like the chicken and stuff like that that she just doesn't want to eat. This little plate I love. This one is from Bumpkins and again I'll leave a link to it down below but I love that it has like a little suction cup at the bottom so she can't just like flip it off the tray and just throw everything to the ground. All right so in addition to the yogurt I also put, where is it? I also put almond butter in it. it. Just gives it like a little bit more fat, which is good for her. So here's what I look for. This yogurt I picked up at Aldi, but I've used other yogurts like when I go to Publix, but I look for a plain whole milk yogurt. When Riley turned a year old, she started having whole milk instead of formula. So I like for her yogurt to be whole milk yogurt. Really what I look for is just that it doesn't have added sugar, that it's plain because like when you start getting yogurts that are like vanilla or strawberry, there's a lot more sugar in those. So, you know, obviously you feed your kid whatever you want to feed your kid, but I look for um, just stuff that has less sugar. Literally just pour a little bit of the almond butter straight into the yogurt. It's usually nice and creamy like this, so there's no issues with that. And then I just mix it up. Kind of hard to do because I'm holding the camera with one hand. All right, so that's what the yogurt looks like when it's all mixed up with the almond butter. With the almond butter, I haven't closed this correctly, but this is the green wise one. What I like to look for in an almond butter or even with peanut butter, but I give her almond butter more. Um, I look for the, I'm sorry. Are you mad that you ran out? Look at the ingredients and I make sure that there's no like oils and things like that. The ingredients to this one, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it because it's not really focusing, but it just says, it just says dry roasted almonds. So that's, 
that's all that's in here. What a good girl. Yeah. Like I said before, Riley is 13 months old. So as soon as she turned a year old, I dropped her morning breastfeeding session. So up until she was one, I was nursing her first thing in the morning. So like you guys saw me go get her out of her crib in the morning. Normally I would um, go back to my room and nurse her in my bed, but as soon as she turned one I stopped that nursing session now The only nursing session that she has is at the end of the night before I put her to bed So yeah, she's gonna hang out for a while now. It's about 9 in the morning right now Probably Riley normally eats her breakfast between 8 30 and 9 because she does wake up around that time So Riley wakes up anywhere between 8 and 9 every morning. She goes to bed late She goes to bed like around 9 so um, she has like a late end to the day and a late start but that's okay with me because I'm the kind of person that needs to sleep in like I cannot wake up at seven o'clock in the morning every day hi what you looking for down there I think dad dad missed a ball when he was cleaning up yesterday what's there is there a ball down there oh sure is I have to tell dad that he needs to do a better job of picking up so our baby girl plays I'm also gonna give her her water she loves to drink water I'm not sure she's gonna want to drink it now but I'm gonna give her her cup down here oh you want some water she holds this by herself. I don't know why she's wanting me to hold it for her today, but I like to give her water in case she gets thirsty. She's been drinking it out of that little munchkin cup with the little straw forever. She does really well with it until she closes it and then can't open it up again. There you go. But baby girl drinks a lot of water, especially since she's not having milk in the morning. I like to make sure that she has her water cup. How do you say awa? Awa. Awa. <laughs> So it's 10.40 and baby girl got really hungry and sleepy. So I'm gonna go give her a bottle. I gave her five ounces of whole milk. So now I'm gonna go give her this and put her down for a nap. You ready for your leche? So I had every intention of giving baby girl like a quick and easy little applesauce packet when she woke up from her nap like for snack but she is sleeping extra long today so that gives me a little bit extra time so I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some strawberries for her so she can have that when she wakes up. All right, so now when she wakes up, I'll give her these. These were the little pouches I was gonna give her for snack. And I get these at Aldi. These are the um, Simply Nature, the kids little applesauce packets and they are unsweetened apple squeezy fruit pouches. Um, she really likes these. I might still give her one of those pouches for her second snack. I do try to give her two snacks a day. The only reason I chopped up strawberries now is because I had some time. Like if it's a busy day, if I'm busy, if I've got work, if I'm trying to work on deadlines while she's napping, like there's no shame in that game of just like grabbing a fruit pouch and giving her something quick and easy because you gotta do what you gotta do. And like I don't have tons of time every day to sit down and chop strawberries. Even something that 
seems like it wouldn't take a long time. I totally reach for those pouches all the time. Um, if I give her one of those pouches, I try not to give her like two of those pouches a day. I try to mix it up. Like some days I'll give her yogurt for a snack if she didn't have that for breakfast. So I just try to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Your strawberries? They say yum yum yum. Strawberries. Mmm. 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 You really like that food, don't you? I swear, she like really savors this food. Like when she likes something, she is like all about it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so it's 2.30. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping her lunch. I have her in the high chair watching Baby Einstein, so hopefully she will let me get this ready for her. All right, so I'm actually gonna be giving her this food that my mom makes her. I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but there's like chicken in here, like spinach. There's a whole bunch of stuff that she blends and she makes from scratch. If I didn't have one of these, like if my mom hadn't made one of these, normally what Riley would be having for lunch is, let's get this stuff out of here. Normally she would be having like one of these, like these I got um, at Publix. So something that has a protein and then I'd give her like a side of something that has like spinach or green beans or something like that. I like to at least give her a protein and some kind of veggie. But given that I have this, I'm just gonna prepare this for her. So given that this is pretty pureed, like there's not a lot of um, like texture in here, I'm gonna throw in some little sweet peas that we cooked for her yesterday. Where are they? So we made these little sweet peas and I'm gonna throw in a couple in here. a little bit and my laundry is going on in the background so I'm sorry that there's like noise. But lately feeding Riley um, her lunch and her dinner have been a little bit difficult because of the fact that she doesn't want to eat any textured food. So we've given her puree all this time. Now when we introduce like even pasta, like we've tried to give her like the little baby mac and cheese and stuff like that, she doesn't really like it. So what we've been trying to do to get her more used to eating solid foods is we've still been giving her like a puree of some sort. So obviously like the food that I'm giving her today is puree. But then with all of her meals, we've been trying to like add a piece of something solid in it. So today I added the little baby peas so that she can get used to like chewing food and knowing that not everything is puree. So, so far like she doesn't always love it. It's not like her favorite thing. She would much rather just eat the puree by itself. But little by little we've been introducing stuff like that and it is helping her just get used to that like feeling of like having to chew. It's like trial and error, you know, I'm just trying to do my best to give her food that isn't 100% puree now that she's one. Another thing that she does like is like Gerber has like the little um, puree food, but it's like stage three, so it has like chunks of stuff in it. I ran out, otherwise that's probably what I would have given her for her lunch today, but there's one that's like a vegetable chicken soup that for the most part is puree, and then there's like little chunks of like carrots and stuff like that in it. Um, that one she really likes, so just kind of have to find what your babies like. I wish that I could just like chop up a piece of chicken and put it on her tray and have her eat it, but she's just not there yet. All right, so she ate all of her food. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those same peas. What the heck did I put them? I can never find any of her food in here. So I'm gonna take those same peas and I'm gonna put some on her tray to see if she'll eat them just solid. I just want her to get used to eating and picking up little pieces of food. So I'm gonna put some of these on her tray and see if she will eat a few of them or if she will just throw them on the floor.
Okay, so she seems to be eating some of them, which is good news. For some reason, like some stuff she'll entertain the idea of putting in her mouth and then other stuff like chicken, fish, rice. Um, we've put a couple things like for her to try and she's like, nope, that's not happening. She seems to like these sweet peas and these were just like frozen sweet peas that we got like, they're like bird's eye sweet peas. We just put them in the microwave for like five minutes and that was it. She has straight up loved these peas. Like I have added peas to her tray like three times already. Her Riley is super content here playing with all her toys. She's also watching A Nightmare Before Christmas, which for some reason is like her favorite movie. It's so crazy. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her a snack. All right, so for her snack, I'm gonna actually show you guys what Little Spoon just sent me. I had no idea this was being delivered today. It just happened to be super good timing, but I saw it and I'm like, this will be perfect for her snack. They sent me this little thing. Super cute little bag. But inside here, there's a whole bunch of these little prepared foods. Um, these are perfect for her snacks. There's a whole bunch of different flavors. They come with this little spoon. I think it's so cute. Um, but there was one that I saw in here that I think is gonna be her snack. So this one says strawberry, basil, beet, pear, and chia, chai, I don't know how you say that. But there's like all different varieties. Little spoon, carrot, mango, coconut, milk, turmeric. I might give her this one see if she likes it. But I love that all of these are organic. Um, on the packaging, it does say that you should eat them within 14 days of the delivery, but go check out Little Spoon because based on what I'm seeing here, their stuff is super cute. Like look at all these different varieties here. Broccoli, pineapple, banana, and hemp. Nice and healthy stuff, already done for you. So I'm gonna be giving her these either for breakfast or for snacks like today. I was gonna give her that little applesauce pouch, but when I got this, I was like, this will be perfect for her snack and it'll be something different for her to try. So let's see if she likes it. I'm gonna see if I can just feed her on the floor. Let me just get a bib so I don't make a mess. I just threw on her little llama bib. I love this thing. like it typically I would give her just like one of those like little Gerber like fruit compotas is what I call them because that's just what I have called them my whole life but like little purees I keep on hand like a whole bunch of like apple and pear and sometimes that's what I give her for a snack but this company is super cute I love their packaging everything is super like on brand I love this little spoon but I love that it's just done for you these are different varieties that I don't normally see at the grocery store and I love that everything is super organic so I will definitely be looking into what else they have online. I love that it's just delivered to your door, so we will see. child with these little puffs um riley loves these puffs these are actually the ones from aldi these are amazing they're like the same as like the gerber ones she likes them just as much and they're like half of what you'd pay for the regular gerber ones and these are strawberry so these are like the little journey brand super super good riley will eat like an entire tube of these um if i let her all right we are almost done for the day we're gonna give riley dinner and then after dinner she gets one more bottle right before bed and then we're done so for dinner, we're gonna try a couple things today and it may or may not work out, so I've gotta be flexible. And that's just what happens when I'm trying to get her to try new foods. You kinda have to have like an idea of what you wanna do and then like a backup plan. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So this is a pasta that we made for ourselves for dinner. It was just like one of those like Nors, like little packets of pasta, nothing fancy. So I'm gonna first try to see if she'll like eat this at all, like by itself, like if I feed it to her, what she thinks of it. And then if she doesn't enjoy that, then what I'll do is I'll just give her the same puree that I gave her for lunch and I'll put pieces of that inside. And then I'm also gonna give her more peas. Once she's done with that, I'm gonna give her this, which these little journey um, 
These little squeezy packs are great. They are also super cheap. They're like 79 cents when like the other ones from like the other brands are like a dollar something. So these are really affordable. And I typically just buy a whole bunch of like fruit ones. So this one has prune, apple, um, and butternut squash with quinoa. So for dinner, I'd like to give her some protein and some veggies, but I also like to give her like a side of fruit. So that way she goes to bed on a nice full tummy. She had a couple bites of the pasta by itself. She wasn't the biggest fan of it, so she tried it. That's fine with me. Like the first time that she tries something, I'm okay as long as she just tries it. Um, then she kind of protests, so that's enough for today. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give her some of the puree and maybe I'll throw in some of the peas and then again, I'll do the same thing. I'll put some peas on her plate and then after I'll give her the other fruit thing that I showed you guys. Looks like she is over the peas, but that's fine. She did a really good job. So since she did a good job today, I'm gonna give her a couple of these. These are just some Earth Best, um, just like little cookies. She loves these. They're really good, like I eat them too. Um, so I'm just gonna cut up like four of these and that'll be like her little treat for the day. Alright you guys, we are officially done. Riley is asleep, she's in her crib. I gave her her bottle, I nursed her, so we are done. I am also aware that I look like a crazy person, but it is like, uh, it's 8.55 at night. It's been a long day, so I look like a crazy person. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this What My Baby Eats In Day kind of video. Again, make sure to give it a thumbs up, that way I know that you guys like this kind of content and that you wanna see more videos like this. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.